Hi, I'm Brad DeRoche, and welcome to my course on sight reading. This is lesson 18. In today's lesson, we're going to learn to read melodies in the high register of the guitar, which is this area uh, with our little third and fourth fingers around the 12th fret. So about ninth position, ninth and 10th position. And no doubt you followed along uh, the course up to this point. So in our previous lessons, what we had worked on uh, initially was learning all the notes on the fingerboard, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, just thinking of them as letter names. And we only used natural notes. We skipped sharps and flats. Then the next step was to use note cards or flashcards to reinforce playing a single note and thinking of what the letter was as well as the music notation symbol. So where was the note head on the staff? And so once we got through that step, the next step is to really learn to play single note melodies in all four registers on the guitar. And so the last couple of lessons were learning low register melodies and then middle register melodies. And so today we're up to the third step in that process, which is the high register on the guitar. So we're going to move forward with some new pieces and we're upping the ante each time when we play because the pieces are getting just a little tougher and so it's going to give us a, a wider variety of notes and rhythms. Um, so that, that adds a challenge in and of itself, plus we're moving up the fingerboard and finding these notes in new places each time. So hopefully you're somewhat familiar with them now, uh, these notes in high register and so on, but this will give us a, a chance to uh, really learn them and to get them nice and solid. Okay, so what I would like to use again uh, is this set of pieces by Peter Edvinson, Classical Guitar One, and today I'm going to use page five. And so page five has three tunes on it, Jingle Bells, When the Saints Go Marching In, and Climbing Upwards. All right, so we have three tunes, one page of music, very simple, only take us a few minutes to do today. So as we did before, we're going to kind of learn this protocol for becoming good sight readers. And that is the first step is to really scan through the piece to see what it is you're going to play. So if we start with the tune Jingle Bells, even though most all of us know this tune pretty well, uh, the music notation tells us a few things. First off, it's in 4-4 four, four time, right? So we know there's four quarter note beats per measure. And then in this piece, there are no repeats. Okay, so it's just one time through the whole piece and then you're done. Now, most of the rhythms in here are quarter notes, and there are a few half notes and whole notes dotted in along the way, but uh, pretty simple rhythms. Okay, and plus you know the tune, uh, so that, that kind of helps uh, give us a sense of where to go next. However, we're gonna start out today reading in high register, so that's gonna throw some of you a curveball. If you're really used to playing everything in the low register, uh, this is gonna be a little trickier today. It's gonna challenge you a little bit to find your notes. So I picked a tempo of 100 beats per minute, and let's see if we can get a score of 90% or higher when we play this. Remember, don't stop once you start playing. You keep going all the way through, and if you make a mistake, that doesn't matter. Just try not to make a mistake in rhythm. Uh, if, you missed a, if you played a wrong string or whatever, just keep moving, all right, keep moving. Now today, one thing I'd like for you to try out that will be a little new, we haven't talked about it, and that is the idea of thinking ahead or looking ahead of what you're playing. In order to be able to do that, you need to grab chunks of information. All right, so little fragments or groups of notes instead of really thinking about one note at a time. So that ability will also aid you greatly in becoming a better sight reader. It's just the ability to, to plan ahead, all right? And uh, like, like many other things in life, it'll help us a lot if we plan ahead. So when I'm looking at a tune like Jingle Bells, it's pretty easy to see a chunk of information in the first measure. All right, I can look at that, very quickly discern that there are three E's in a row. The note doesn't change. And actually, another quick glance tells me the second measure is identical. All right, so once we see those little groups like that, we should then start moving ahead and figuring out what comes after that. All right, so the, the goal today, in addition to uh, scanning through the piece before you play it, turning on a metronome, playing it one time straight through, mistakes and all, the added challenge today is to think, uh, think ahead of what we're playing, to try and grab chunks of information instead of looking at single notes, to grab bits or smaller or small fragments of notes instead of just single note and think about that as a group and try to look ahead of what we're playing, all right? So try to add that to your 
practicing today. So really think in terms of chunks. A tune like Jingle Bells is pretty good to do that with. So for me, a chunk is just basically anything more than one note. Um, so it's easy to see a couple of these as entire measures of the same note. Those are simple, but some of the other ones are a little trickier. Anyway, do the best you can with thinking in terms of chunks, and we'll try this one together. So put your metronome on 100. See if you can keep up with that pace today, and that'll, that'll push us a little bit. Um, plus we're playing in high register. So it starts off with E, maybe thinking about your first note. Where is that E in this high register? Do you remember that one? Third string, ninth position, so there's E. All right, so there's your starting point. Here we go, metronome's at 100. We're in 4-4 four, four times, so we're gonna start off with four beats, grab a chunk of information before you start playing. You should already know your first two measures. All right, I got my hand ready, here we go. One, two, three, four. How did you do? 90% score or higher? Maybe you mixed up one or two notes in the middle trying to think, ah, oh, where's, that, where's that D? <laughs> All right, that's okay. Um, again, 90% or higher. Just remember where your errors were and it's something, if you weren't sure of that note, maybe you can correct it in, a, in the next piece when you get to it. All right, so that's our idea. So today, reading in high register is where you're gonna start. So you read through all three pieces, and then once you've gotten through all three in the high register, let's move it down to middle register. So now that tune, I'll turn my metronome back on, is going to be here, middle register. And so on, all right, so you know that you get the idea of where to play that one. And then once you play through all three pieces in middle register, now you're going to play them in low register. So the third time around, low register would be here. All right, you get the idea. So three times through the tunes today, uh, high register first, then middle, then low. All right, these should challenge you a little bit. Um, today and once again try to find a good metronome speed that works that pushes you a little bit not so much that you're making a mistake on every other note because then you're dropping below your 90% score all right so you get the idea hopefully this is some helpful information for you today so the takeaways from today we're learning to read melodies in high register and a new concept of grabbing chunks of information and thinking ahead when we're when we're playing so we're not just staring at one note at a time uh, which means you're always struggling to stay up at pace. All right, so try and add those to your practicing today, and I think it will help you to become a better sight reader. All right, I'll see you in the next lesson. Cheers.